Hi there everyone, this is Liz. A warm welcome back to this new intuitive energy update. And I'm back because I was actually posting my weekly uh, intuitive video yesterday as usual. And I know that some of you um, already seen it, but after about one hour or so, something happened, uh, some kind of glitch, some kind of technical issue. And I was diving into it um, already last night, late last night, and trying to solve it. But when the, you know, there was something on my dashboard, I couldn't access uh, all of my videos. And when everything came back together again, this newest video was gone. And also some um, views from all the videos that I posted before. Uh, like a couple of hundred views from my latest video, for example, was just gone all of a sudden. <laughs> so I have no idea what happened. Um, and I didn't save a copy of the video yesterday. Mm, so I learned that lesson uh, to do so every time. Um, so here I am making a new video for you and if you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, if you would like a private session with me you can check out the information below and it will take you to my website and you can book through there. And I will probably uh, bring up a couple of subjects from, from yesterday's video if uh, the guides still thinks uh, that I should. Um, uh, otherwise, I'll just open up and see what they would like to talk about today. All right. So thank you for being here and for your patience about this uh, weird thing. I'm guessing that you got noticed uh, yesterday for you who are subscribed that my new video was out and then it suddenly was gone. So I'm sorry for that, but this is how it is. I can't do anything about it now and I'm here to make a new one for you. All right, let's see. <clears throat> oh, so, okay. So um, I'm seeing a woman uh, walking on a meadow. Um, in, in a beautiful landscape and I'm seeing her swinging her body and her clothes around like this and she feels a lot of freedom. So a feeling of freedom comes in here to free yourself from uh, dogmas, free yourself from um, programmings, free yourself from your own traumas. Free yourself from whatever hinders you to flow freely inside. And there's a lot of joy coming through uh, when I'm talking about this. Um, I, you know, I almost feel like, um, you know, there's bubbles moving around inside of me. And there are um, there are some kind of change that will come and we are talking a bit now long term, not, a, not particularly this week, but they are talking about some kind of change that will come more towards the autumn and um, to prepare for the autumn, it's good that you free yourself uh, inside and that you feel connected to your soul and to your higher consciousness so you can access your own inner wisdom so you can access uh, your own inner peacefulness uh, so you can access um, uh, your creativity because they are uh, saying that uh, it's good to be creative in times of change. And 
this doesn't mean that it necessarily has to be any bad, <laughs> so-called bad change that will come to the autumn. I'm not saying that and I'm not sensing that. It's just feel like a change of some kind that will, uh, you know, make us um, roll <laughs> in the uh, evolution, in, in our development, uh, like something will get rolling somehow. Uh, and um, and therefore it's good to be in the inner freedom and connection with your own creativity and be playful about your life, be playful um, regarding the opportunities also that may arise. You know, I try to see every kind of event in, in my life as an opportunity to either learn something or to develop something, to release something or to, to grow in something. So there will be uh, continuously for a few years still uh, a lot of opportunities for us to do so, to grow, to develop, to release, to, to uh, get into the, the true involvement and, and, and um, the, the soul, uh, um, the soul growth a lot. And I feel and okay, so now we're going to step in and talk a bit about one subject that I talked about in yesterday's uh, video, and that was the mind, uh, that our mind and every other type of part of us have been kind of uh, fragmented through our human history because we have had so much focus on our outer world. We have kind of uh, been swept into um, um, fragments in the outer world and that has also kind of splittered and fragmented us ourselves and especially when it comes to our connection to our soul you know when when fears are being being shown or projected out there towards us um, that can, if you don't have contact with yourself within, it can, it can fragment and uh, separate uh, you, your, um, yourself from the soul a bit. And it has, this has happened and been like a, uh, been um, passed down in generations as well. Uh, certain fears or or um, way of being that have been separate us a lot from from the soul and our natural origin of strength and power and and the connection to our higher consciousness um, there within that as, as well um, so regarding the mind and how that can be so um, um, thrown out there in so many different directions because of uh, our focus that has been so much on our outer world, uh, we have more created life from what's going on and what's, uh, what other people have been telling us, um, what the view of the society have been telling us is important. Um, so we have become further, uh, we have grown further and further away from our true source and our higher consciousness. Uh, and this is also what they're showing me, like it's almost like our mind have been a bit a pieces here and there, you know, in in that way we think like this and in this way we think like that and then over here we think like that and everything is going on outside of us because we have been reacting a lot to what's have been portrayed over here 
um, projected in, in the outer world. And now they are talking about, since um, us humans and Earth is going through a frequency shift, uh, this will happen over time, long term. And the frequency, frequency shift is very intense right now. That's why we can see this up, upheaval and, and wars and, and uh, uh, distractions and oppositions and arguments and you know all this kind of different different type of energies is because the earth is cleansing itself it has to cleanse the old so the new can be born so new beautiful frequencies can be established both within us and in the outer world and eventually also within the people of the power in the world so, but, but from what, what I see, uh, the change has to come from the people, from the, from the roots and for us to turn inwards and get reconnected with ourselves again uh, and rec uh, get uh, reconnected with every part of us, our sense of self. Um, our own inner voice and um, our higher consciousness and our soul, you know, so we can become a whole, so we can become a unit with ourselves. And from that, we can create, like they started to talk about being in creation and being creative and inventive, you know, there will be a lot of in new inventions in this new time of Aquarius. Um, but it starts with you reconnecting and being able to be in contact with your, with your source, with our source, with our oneness, because everything is accessible uh, to us when we are in that contact. So, and when this reconnection is happening, um, our brain will uh, connect a new uh, synapse in the brain um, and uh, connect with the, the part of the brain that have been kind of sleeping for a, for a while, I was supposed to say, quite a while, <laughs> maybe since the beginning, <laughs> no, but uh, for a very, very long time. Mm. And so this reconnection in the brain will happen gradually as well as we reconnect within and when we get exposed to this, all these new frequencies that are, um, um, that the earth is bathing in, starting to bathe in. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, uh, I don't know how this will feel for you, but um, this started a few years back for me where where i was getting these enormous flashes in my head um, and the guides have been telling me that it's nothing wrong with your brain it's nothing wrong with your eyesight it is this can can occur not for everyone but it can occur when the nerve ends the new nerve ends are being connected to each other again in the brain and you um, there are new energies and new frequencies that are being established and so i've been getting these flashes where everything just lit up uh, inside my head and it goes like this it's just um it's just um, a, a second or two seconds and then it's gone again and I don't feel anything. I just experience the light, you know, the brightness inside inside the head. Um, and it doesn't come often. It's like maybe once every four or five months or something like that. So it not it's not very often, uh, but it has happened. And that was the information I was giving 
and that also takes me into the you know the, all the information that are spreading around the world or, uh, around a big solar flash um, and what I feel and have been feeling for for a very long time um, you know that the, the Sun have these solar flares that have been very very intense for for a long time now but we are also entering um, other type of frequencies in the universe that that kind of increase um, and increase the light particles and frequencies here uh, for us but the the big solar flash that some people are talking about I don't see it as one singular event uh, that will come I see it more as an inner inner consciousness um, lit up like almost like the flashes I've been given in 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 my brain in my head uh, that might might happen for more of you uh, but the more I think also it it also depends um, that's also what I'm feeling what they are telling me it also depends on your own consciousness um, um, how uh, the new frequencies of the earth will feel for you will will feel for your body and and your mind and so on so we actually don't know the development of this because it's it's very new to live through an ascension like this um, and while i'm talking about ascension my my guides have told me a few times that um, it's okay for us to to talk about ascension in in that sense but the the word itself ascension isn't something that they prefer to use they can use it for us to to understand the concept what it's all about what's happening but they say also like the ascension implies also that there is a lower and higher um, lower and higher vibration and there is something that is worse and something that is better and that can, can sometimes i've seen it within the spiritual realm and uh, with pe some people sometimes that it becomes a judgment um, like if you are in a specific level that's uh, that's not as good as being on that level and we are supposed to step away from that that kind of judgments therefore they are not um, therefore they are wanting to explain what they are meaning regarding ascension and since we live in a multiverse and par parallel realities everything is happening all at once so it's not about levels it's not about um, then and then like past and future uh, we are slowly getting used to the idea of uh, us living in a timeless reality uh, and only use we have okay so we all we have only used the time as a concept for us to structure the 3d world and um, much further ahead in our development and our consciousness um, uh, shift we will feel that this will be less and less important that we will create life from another type of structure I'm not sure how yet but that's what they are saying and showing me and it's more um, it's more it has more it has more to do with um, being uh, conscious about the mind and how to use that in our everyday life 
Um, so yeah, and back to the mind that I started to talk about um, all these fragments of our mind, we, we are to summarize this, we are gathering every part of us to become more whole again and to be reconnected with our soul, with our inner voice, with our higher consciousness. And um, when this is happening, uh, the brain's uh, nerve ends that have been inactive will get active again. And that will also activate. Uh, I know that some of you are already on this journey <clears throat> and have been for a while. But for some, this will um, happen without you knowing it almost. Um, so, but the, the DNA will be activated um, also from the nerve ends being connected to each other. So it's kind of exciting. Um, And yes, all right. Um, let's see what else. Um, okay, so um, so they're showing me again this landscape with this person who who <laughs> was was so happy and. And now they show me like she's flying over the treetops and we would like to say to always uh, stay connected to the earth because you, you need the earth grounding in big changes. You are going through big physical changes at the moment and you're going through a lot of changes uh, and distractions and stressful elements from the outer world world and to be able to stay uh, in contact with yourself you need uh, to stay grounded and make sure that you um, you know center yourself a lot and and uh, ground yourself and turn inwards um, when it comes to meditation, uh, do that if you can do that alone or if you can do that in a group. I will start up I will start up a new group in August again if you're interested in joining that. Otherwise, um, try to give yourself um, at least like 15 minutes per day or something to sit down and close your eyes and um, breathe deeply and connect with your inner self to be able to heal what what wants to come up there what you haven't been taking care of so far in your life uh, within yourself old wounds and traumas and stuff and this uh, yeah so traumas and things inside of you will get activated automatically by things that happens so it's um, <laughs> okay so in in one way what happens in the outer world is not always bad if you are conscious about what is happening because what is happening uh, make sure that you have a distance to things but what is happening can actually trigger things within you that needs to come up inside of you to heal. So, you know, we mirror each other and we are getting mirrored by things that are happening in, in, in the society and in the world that are things that also have been affecting us for a very long time. And it has affected our personal lives and our relationships and and our choices that we've been doing. And so when you get triggered by something from the outer world, it is actually an invitation for you to look inside and ask yourself, why am I being triggered about this? What is it inside of me that I need to heal that remind me of these feelings, whatever it is that's been triggering you? 
um, if is is it fear? Is it, is it anger? Is it frustration? Is it sadness? Is it um, 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 injustice or um, <clears throat> the feeling of being outside or uh, not part of um, life? You know, whatever it is that's been triggering in you, take a look at that and see see it as an opportunity. See it as an opportunity and um, think about a time during the day when you can actually sit down for 15, 20 minutes. You can sit 10 minutes and you can sit one hour. No, no, you know, you choose uh, what feels right for you and it can differ from day to day, of course. But to do it regularly and make a habit out of it, it will help you enormously to grow right now and to to heal and to get connected uh, to your heart to your soul and to your inner peacefulness <clears throat> so mm -hmm, that's good is there anything else that we should talk about today Yeah, you know, and, and they are talking about the source as well. You know, you you have a part of you inside of you is the source. So therefore, you you are always connected to everyone else and everything else that have or will ever be created in universe in in this universe or, you know there's multiple universes as well but the source um, that you are connected to and they're talking about the oneness you know in in the spiritual community we're talking about everyone uh, comes from the same source and we are one and that is that is true when it comes to the to the source who, who constantly want to express itself and learn as much as it can um, about the life force simply. We are part of that. That's why we go through life on earth and on other places, in, uh, on other planets and other uh, solar systems. And that's why we go through experiences um, that has to do with learning because that's that is what the the life force and the source wants to do um, and it's a natural force that kind of expands by itself and with expansion comes also learning new experiences you know that within your personal life when your life expands in some way when you get a child or when you move or when you learn a new skill or whatever you do your life is expanding and with that comes some type of learning or learning experience and that is what the source is doing and that is what we all are doing and will ever do <laughs> so and and when you connect with the source and with the the with your own self and your soul you can also get in contact with everything that is all the wisdom that is available out there you can access uh, because we are all uh, we all stems from the same source ultimately even if we become an individual when we are incarnated on earth or somewhere else we become an individual um, and we have some specific mission perhaps that we have pre-decided to do while we're here um, but we we all belong in the higher sense and and imagine everything <laughs> that everyone 
ever have been going through in their life, imagine how much experience the source have been gathering. Um, it's mind-blowing, really. And so much wisdom, that so much growth that has come through that. And when you feel that you are a bit lost or that you don't know what to choose in life, uh, when you feel, I don't know what to do, and I feel this, and I feel this, and I think like that, and I think like that, and, it, it, you know, all that uh, thinking it, is just referring back to the mind being divided and fragmented, like I talked about before, um, and it takes you away from the inner connection and the inner knowing, inner knowing, uh, that you can access because if you turn inwards you know what to do if you establish that contact regularly um, and make sure that you can always access that whenever you need to get some guidance in life um, um, then you will find the, the natural answers that you feel is is right for you in your heart and that's feel that feels authentic for you because mm. souls in itself are authentic so that's the only way we can exist really in a higher realm and if we are supposed to do a big frequency shift here on earth where everyone start to live from a higher purpose or with a higher consciousness where we live more with intent and good intentions you know only uh, authenticity can live there so if you still have a lot of things to sort out in your life where you feel that you're not being authentic to yourself or to others where you're not being true to yourself or true to others, uh, you need to start to open up that kind of communications uh, within and with others and keep on going on that track to develop the authenticity uh, because that is the path also to, um, to be able to live with a higher consciousness. Um, so yeah. <laughs> That is that. Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to tune out there. It feels like I've said what I came here to say today. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you soon again. I have an upcoming video um, regarding a specific subject when I do my Q&A with the guides. I ask a question and they give me an answer and that will come up soon as well. So uh, look out for that and subscribe if you want notifications about um, every new video that I post. I wish you the very best of the rest of the week and I'll see you soon again. Bye!